good afternoon. <laughs> this is the uh, canvas that I'm going to be painting on. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see, but I have actually given myself a vague idea of the top of the tree line where the, um, the lake ends over here, more or less the position of the little pavilion and paid some attention to the way these boats are over here and here's the, the big bush. So it's very, very vague outline of, haven't even drawn the pavilion in in any detail. Um, so uh, I'm going to paint in acrylics this time. So I have my Stay Wet palette with me, um, which is here. And I'm going to, the colors first that I'm going to use in the sky. Uh, this one was a mistake, this pot, but I use it as a pot. So I'm also putting out some cerulean blue. And always, always put the lid back on your acrylic paints when you use them. Because if you don't, they'll dry out and you won't get any paint out of them. And I'm also putting out a lot of white. This is titanium white, which is quite opaque, but most of these paints are opaque anyway. Somewhere I've got a purple. I think that might do. If it gets too exciting, I'll put out a bit of burnt sienna. Oh, this. The reason I said burnt sienna is that it's it's a ruddy brown and it calms and calms the colours down a bit uh, because it's on the red side and these are <coughs> otherwise <coughs> right so I've got my four colours I've got cerulean blue ultramarine ultramarine violet and white and I'm starting by wetting the brush. Uh, looking vaguely at the picture and deciding I'm probably not going to do it that way. Okay, so we start with a bit of white, which you can't see. So I'll put a bit of really blue in it. Right. Right. Um, And we've got um, some blue around here. Um, and I've added a bit of white to my brush. Doing a bit of a Bob Ross here. Um, there's paint on the canvas already. So when I use the white paint, it picks up some of the color underneath because the paint underneath is wet. Um, you don't want to spend too much time dreaming when you're in there. Because if if you uh, if you don't go for it, what happens is that the edge uh, won't blend. You see, already I'm having trouble getting that edge to blend. Take it down over the line. A bit more white here. There's quite a lot of white down here, isn't there? <laughs> Oops. That's exciting. Fine. I'll do that. And of course, the beauty of this is, if it's in the wrong place, I can always put it in the right place. It's not. It's, it's, 
not forever. Once I, once I put this on, it's not forever. I can change the way I do it. When I was drawing the lines, uh, I did a quick sketch in pencil uh, because I'm nervous with drawing. And, um, and then I went over it with, um, with a black biro. The black biro doesn't move. Somehow the blue biro, blue biro does. It seems to get into the, into the paint. Basically, the sky doesn't matter much. As long as you've got something that looks like a sky, you're all right. But if you, if you quite like what's there and you, know, you want to make that happen, then you have to pay a bit of attention to uh, where you put the white and the, the other bodges. It's quite a nice cloud. Well, there's a bit of dark down here. I'll try this circle to see if that's. People do say you can't get subtlety with acrylics, but I think they're wrong. I think you can if you work at it hard enough. You can get um, like a subtle blend if you want it. Work that way. Can you still see, Rachel? Um, you don't have to do everything. Um, you don't have to complete your strokes. You can make them as um, delicate or as noticeable as you want. I like the I like the brush strokes to show. I think it adds to the excitement of the, um, the picture. I think we've got a bit of dark. Let's see. One of the things uh, George told me, George was my first teacher, he tried to make every corner a different colour. It just means you spread colour around, if you think of it that way. Good advice. So I've got a bit of purple in that corner, a bit of cerulean in that, and God knows what will happen down here. But you can see in the pictures, there's different colours down there. Yeah. How am I doing?
can smooth it out if you want to. Um, <clears throat> or you can keep it as rough as you like, depending on what your fancy takes. That's going to be the tree, so we won't worry about it. Excuse me. <clears throat> Just going to have a little look. Right, so that's a, a mildly damp brush. I'm just taking the anything that works. Why you need a penny? What can do for the time being? Right, I've so got to think of the green now. <clears throat> the trees at the back. Um, Will be a sort of green because they're quite near, but I'm going to use a bluey green. So, this is by way of being an experiment. This is Viridian. Wow, that's Viridian. Uh, and a bit of burnt sienna. I find that burnt sienna and viridian is a lovely forest green. If you like that, that sounds wonderful. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a bit of the Viridian. Sorry, people can't see me doing this. I'm taking a bit of the Viridian, a bit of the burnt sienna, mixing them together. It's giving me a nice green. Now, I want it darker than, I want it more blue than that, so I've got a bit of blue there. Gives me a sort of bluey green. I think I'll add a bit of white to that, just calm it down a bit. Painting. It's all about edges. If you can make your edges interesting by using your brush in a different way, that's, uh, that's a good thing. I want that edge to be teased a bit, you know. Sorry. Hmm. 
I want it really dark at the bottom here. So, take the green and brown again. <coughs> and near the bottom here, there's always a more intense dark than near the bottom where the where the light um, is is um, hidden, if you like, from the uh, the ground by the by the undergrowth and the and the top canopy. Mm -hmm. so I say anything that works. If you want to use your fingers, there's no reason why you shouldn't. Just keep it in your book control. <laughs> what it is you're trying to do, but you do need a penny to wipe your finger off. Otherwise, you're going to ruin your clothes. A bit that's a bit gross, but at this stage, all I'm seeking to do is to cover the canvas so that I've got the picture there. And next week, I will be um, refining it. Thank you, refining it. Yes, right now. We do have quite a dark tree over here, and it starts quite dark, so I've got a nice bunch of dark there. So I'll put this dark here. Because these... It's not too bad a colour when you scrub it on, so it's basically saying there's a brush, there's a, a tree here. So now <clears throat> I don't want to add white to that. If I can help it, because if you add white, it, it kills the color. It makes it go more of a gray color. The sun is actually catching these bushes. So I'm going to use a bit of cadmium yellow in that dark, just to give myself Give myself a bit of um, more attractive greens here. And then if I had even more, have me yellow, 
You can put on the light. Bear in mind, this is pretty crude. This is not the final um, story by any manner of means. What kinds of adjustments need to be made? They will be made. Right, clean the brush. I don't know why I don't use a different brush. Like a whirlpool, isn't it? <clears throat> right, now then. Got to do the water. Well, I use a little bit more of the viridian. And about here now. Now, I'm going to start with white. I've got a just a touch of iridium to it. Gives me a lovely colour here. That comes down a bit more in there. Right. Now I need a darker green. Trouble with these stay wet palettes is you run out your space to make some. So we've got here sorry bringing the reflections down from that touch of light. This is a canvas that's been used before. So there are infelicities in the surface. Don't forget, if you're reflecting that tree, it has to be directly underneath you. Reflections always come towards you. Shadows can go in any direction. Shadows here. Then we add the sap, the sappy green down here. Mm -hmm. 
heading. We won't get as far as doing the pavilion and the boats. <coughs> right. Now then. Start with white. And, and again, I'm still going to bring it down. Putting on the white because I'm going to work into it. Give half a chance. Touch of the blue. Let's keep it the other blue, shall we? Touch of the cerulean blue because it does have a sort of greeny cast to it down here. And because there's white paint on it, the cerulean blue isn't being quite such a shock as it. Might be. If the water is still like this, it's an easy trick just to make all your strokes vertical, thereby reflecting. Um, you can always go horizontally where you need to later. You drop the brush on the floor. I'm not too fussed about the all the the uh, little breaks here. I can put them in later. What I'm doing is putting in the um, basic color that will be there. Pretty well, the canvas apart from the boat. Time. Okay, I'll use a different brush. The boats aren't very big. Right, now I'm going to use raw sienna. I am going to use Rossi. I promise you I'm going to use Rossi. No, okay. I am not going to use that one. Okay, fair dues. I'll use. There is some there. It's all right, I've got some. Don't worry. I'll just use it. Oak said. Quite a nice oak of that one. Okay, wet the brush before you start. A bit of ochre mixed with a little bit of white. I'm just getting some colour on. To say this is this is. These boats in here. Not making any attempt at all at 
light and shade. I'm just putting them in. Right. So, got the basic picture laid out. That's all I'm interested in at this stage. I've covered the canvas. I now can start to fossick about making little adjustments. Um, doing something more sensible with those boats and with the pavilion, because um, that's quite detailed work. Next week, I'll probably sit down uh, and uh, play about with the sky, maybe, play about with this tree, because it's a bit monolithic. It needs a bit more shape in it. Those greens aren't far enough back, pushing up far enough back onto the distant tree. But it's there. Basic picture is there. I'll know where to go from there. That's all you're aiming at. You're not aiming at perfection. You're aiming at covering the canvas with more or less the right colour. 